Okay. Charles Green, he, he, they were in, in Chinook, uh, uh, Chicago up there, you know, Chinook okay. Field. So they, and and so, Furnace Todd and all them, they were together. How about that? So they, yeah. but they, they inducted you into the service at Fort Wayne and they wouldn't let you go home? No, they wouldn't let me go home. So, None where, of us. so where did you go from Fort Wayne after you were inducted? Well, we service? went, to, they sent us to Fort Dix, New Jersey. Thirteen weeks training. And how'd you get up to Fort Dix? Yeah. By train or bus or? By train. By train. Yes, sir. We went by train. Okay. Yeah, and Fort Dix, New Jersey, had thirteen weeks basic training. And that was that was all. Like, mm -hmm. That was digging foxholes yeah. and all that stuff. Well, I'm the dad, and then there was a college fellow there. You know, they were make me go make me take because I didn't pass the uh, rifle test and breaking it down and everything and in the test, and they were gonna send me back to basic training again. But this college fellow, he was a real nice young man. And he helped me, you know, tutored me. And so I, I would be able to, you know, we'd have to take them 13 weeks over. Again. Over again. Huh? Yeah, so he was a nice fellow. I forgot no. his name. Great big fellow, about your size and everything. He had been in college. But nice, mild manner. Basic, yeah, basic training. He was that, infantry training. Yeah, right, infantry training. And then after that infantry training was over, what did you, what did you, did you get a leave to go home after that? Yes, yes, yes. How long? For thirty days or fifteen oh, days? Oh no, it was we short state because uh, I had to go to uh, Fort. Uh, what is that? Fort, I think it was Fort Lewis, Washington. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yes, yeah, see, they had to call me. I had to go to Fort Lewis. And how did you get yeah. to Fort Lewis? Well, a train or plane? Well, they flew you over there. Yeah, a plane. Yeah, I went there at Fort Lewis. And what kind and of train? waiting for. They, they were trying to get a group to go, and I was supposed to go to uh, Signal Corps. But you see, I, I went to I went to town, went down there, and I was thinking, I never thought they'd go, you make me, you know, the shipment was going to be, you know, because we were just laying around there, you know. And uh, and I went to went town and kind of overstayed a, a day or so. And, when I come back, they I, I, they told me my shipment that they're going to be a single core. It was over, and they made me take all them shots over. I was sick. <laughs> they shot me with all kind of shots. Did when you went to, and sent me to Alaska. When you went to Fort, did what about your your you went advanced training? Where'd you get your advanced training from? Hmm. What kind of advanced training did you have in single core or into engineering or? Oh. Uh, they sent me to Alaska, Fort, uh, uh, Fort Richardson, Alaska. That's See, because I missed, I missed my shipment. I was supposed to go to Signal Corps and sign up to go to Signal Corps. But since I was, you know, I, they called my name. <laughs> and I wasn't there. Oh, oh. <laughs> and they gave me all, made me take all them shots of I was sick as I wanted to be. I can imagine. <laughs> and they sent me to Fort Richardson, Alaska. So how did you like? How did you get to Fort Richardson? Did you fly or did no? You we went over on on the boat. On the boat. How long did you take it? Roughly. Oh, I imagine reading about what say about two two weeks, I guess. Two weeks, huh? Yes. You know, how did you like? Uh, you knew polar bears and everything and uh, all that. You know. Did you? What, did, what kind of work did you do aboard ship? What did you do aboard ship going up there? Well, what did you do? I didn't. I didn't do anything because I, when I would go to the mess hall, I, my stomach would. I started heaving, and <laughs> they wouldn't allow me to do <laughs> The other fellows had to work and do something, you know, around there on the ship, you know. But they wouldn't allow me in the mess all day. They just didn't see me coming because I started heaving. And, <laughs> and they said, oh, we can't eat here. <laughs> and they sent me back and they said, yeah, yeah, we bring your food. <laughs> 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 they see me coming and they raised their hand, don't you come in here. <laughs> So I didn't have to do anything while I was on here. <laughs> what time? What time of year did you get up to up to Alaska? When was it? January, February? Well, that was I think it was 1948. We yeah, and we supposed to have take ten months. We had trucks there, but what, we was had it, was a few trucks. Sorry, I was to my, was it winter time when you got there? It was fall or spring. The, it, it probably was uh, you say pretty near fall. In the fall of the year, okay. Yeah, about the fall of the year. Mm -hmm. And uh, and they had trucks there, you know. Had to, only they didn't have a whole lot of trucks, so they had tried to teach us how to drive with them semis, you know. But I, every time I would try to run them semis, I 
jack now and bust the holes. <laughs> I could drive the cab, mm -hmm. but see the thing is, it's driving and you know backing it up. Mm -hmm. Now so that we can't have you doing that, so they put me on KP. Oh, yeah, watching that. <laughs> they kept me on KP, and then we had them great big snows, fourteen thirty. Look, you know, uh, Louis Pitts was up there, and I would you go see old Louis all the time. Him and uh, James Matthew, remember James mm -hmm. Matthew? Yes, sir. Yeah, now he's a minister now. Now yeah, so I would go see them, but they, the Air Force thought they were better than better than me, better than, you know than the Army. You know, they never would come see me. I would go see them all the time. Did not come visit you? No. It was Louis and, and James, because they were Air Force. How did you like the, the winter up there in Alaska? Well, you know, you'd get 30 and 40 below the zero. You know, one time, you know, it, it was mild weather, and the guy was going to the cook, uh, 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 service club. And we told him, to, you know, the way it's Parker? No, no, he wanted to look good, good, good you know, for, for the ladies, you know up there at the service club, you know. He wearing his little cunt cap. Because I wore my pocket, you know, with the hood and everything, you know. And we went up there and he was there, you know, in his little ice jacket and <laughs> you look good. But whether it the tip had dropped down to thirty, forty below. And he was running, coming back, you know, after getting on the bus. He running and he put his hand on his ear and he pulled off his ear low. See that sweat, you know, from the hand. He pulled off his ear. See, he didn't listen. So yeah, that tell you you got to pay to listen when folks tell you something. You should listen. How did you so, How did you react to that? This long winter, the, the darkness. Was there darkness? Uh, oh yeah, twenty-four hour day. Yeah. No, uh, no sunlight, nothing. Right. I was there when he put the Elkane Highway. You know, going from uh, Canada to Alaska, the Elkane Highway. Yeah, there was it's right there. Did, did they finish it when you were there? Did they? Yes, they had finished. I finished. Yeah, they, they were working on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, during that time. What did you think of the food? Was there, how was the food? Uh, you, you oh, we had good food. Good food. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. What about the recreation? Uh, recreation? Well, we didn't have to, uh, too much uh, recreation. We had PT every morning. Uh, you're 34. You know, you were young then. You could be out there in a T-shirt because it's dry coat. You know. And, you know, we uh, <clears throat> but see, we could go to the service club and everything of like that up in Alaska, and see, we could have got a homestead, but the criteria was before the fifty nineties that you had to be married. Uh, you know, Linda Whitaker now. You know, he lived down there on Whitewood. He he stayed in the army, retired from the service, and he got that homestead under the homestead act. Is that right? Yes, yeah, Leonard. Yeah, he's gone, my brother. What did you uh, so you? For recreation, you did basically nothing. Oh, else. yeah, we played maybe ball or something of that nature, you know, but we didn't have too much recreation. Did you ever run in with the, any polar bears when you were there? Oh, yeah, I used to see them polar bears on the ice, and yeah, uh, and we were going on the ship. Yeah, they would come right close to them, and them porpoise and all like that, you know, jumping and up. The seals and yeah, the seals. Yeah, seals and all mm -hmm. that, you know. Did you do any fishing while you were up in Alaska? No, I could, uh uh. They had skiing for us, but I didn't want to go out there in that cold and go no skiing. I wasn't into no skiing. Mm -hmm. So I stayed 10 months there. And then it came that, in other words, we had to stay 24 months. But they had a thing that, in other words, if you go to Adak, Alaska, on the Lucian Islands, I could get two for one. See? So, so if I go there for seven months, I have my equivalent of 24 months. Hmm? So I took that and went to, after spending 10 months at Fort Bridge in Alaska, I took the seven months there, because nobody wanted to go there, on the rock. Yeah, so I took that, and you know, it's wet cold up there. So I took that and went to Adath, Alaska. Huh? How did you get there, by, by plane or by boat? Huh? Go there by boat or by boat? Boat. By boat, okay. Yeah. And then you're after there, how long were you there? Seven months and give me an equivalent to 24 months. And then where did you go from there? Where? Where did you go after you left? Uh, well, you know, I, when I stayed there on the Lucian, you know, I was a speech steward though. Okay. And I worked down in the hole. When I was down there working in there in the hole, when the crane operator 
and it, you 